Yo, oh, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with the Fan TV. Back at you. If you like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. The content of this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Look, back in the car. I haven't done a car video in a little while. I'll be honest with you. Uh, but we in the car today because um, I'm actually about to head to Michigan. So I'm about to drive eight, ten hours down there to Michigan. So I'm going to get this car, car video done, do this Ravens versus Falcons preview. And then, uh, you know, we're going to get out of here. Happy holidays to everybody and things like that. All right. Um, so what I want to start off with, I want to start off with the injury report for both teams, and then you know we'll get into previewing the game, right? So for the Ravens, sorry, sorry, let's start with the Falcons. For the Falcons, now we have one guy listed on their game status. His name, like I said yesterday, was Truma I Idoga. Um, he's an offensive tackle. He doesn't play very much, so it wasn't they don't have anybody that's going to play a lot of snaps that was on the injury report. So the Falcons are going to be pretty much at full strength for them. Okay. Now for the Ravens, uh, big news obviously is Lamar Jackson is out. Calais Campbell is out. Marcus Peters is out. Tyler Huntley is questionable. He's already been given the okay by the doctors, by by Harbaugh, and even himself. He said, yeah, I'm going to play. All right? And no injury designation takes to Pierre Paul and Ronnie Stanley. Those are two guys who get rest throughout the week. They go and play uh, Saturday versus the Falcons. All right? Okay. Now, we can get into the game preview. You know, I want to give... What do the Falcons do on offense? What do they do on defense? Things like that. Like, what do they give up in terms of yards and points, stuff like that, right? All right. As far as passing yards, 150 yards a game, 31st in the NFL. Um, so only the Chicago Bears have less passing yards. 23.3 um, attempts a game, 31st again. So <clears throat> won't be a lot of passing going on from the Falcons. Rushing offense, that's where it picks up for them. 164 yards a game, third in the NFL. 32.6 attempts. So pretty much 33 attempts a game. Also third in the NFL. Now, uh, points per game. They, they average 21.9 points a game. 15th in the NFL. Okay. Um, now, let's go on the opposite side for the defense. Passing yards allowed. 248.4 yards allowed a game, which is 29th. And for rushing, 129.9, which is 21st. So still bottom half of the league in both... Um, Rushing and passing yards allowed. Okay. Now, last three games, they're only three in their last three games. Okay. Versus the Commanders, thirteen to nineteen loss. Versus the Steelers, sixteen to nineteen loss. Versus the Saints, eighteen to twenty-one loss. Okay. So that's their. That's the overview of the Atlanta Falcons right now. Okay. Now let's talk about this game from the Ravens' offense versus this Falcons' defense. Okay. Now, obviously, the Falcons give them a lot of passing yards. Uh, but that's not really going to matter much to the Ravens. I'm going to be quite honest, all right? Tyler Huntley's that quarterback. He seems to have an uh, issue with the right shoulder tendonitis. That's been bothering him. That's been bothering him since back in training camp. So, once again, I don't expect a very, very pro prolific passing game from the Ravens. I, I, I Honestly, I don't, okay? Um, so, the Falcons do give 130 yards a game rushing, right? That's still a lot. The Ravens can still have work to do on the ground. So, once again, it's not going to be any shock or surprise I'm looking for J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins has done it two weeks in a row. Let's do it three weeks in a row. Let's continue that dominance. Let's continue that uh, asserting yourself as one of the, honestly, one of the best backs in the NFL, right? Now, obviously, it's only been two games, so he's got to do it for an entire season. But when he plays, J.K. Dobbins averages a lot of yards to carry. He gets a lot of yards a game. And still, he's never cracked, I believe he's never cracked 15 carries in a game before. Or, or 15 carries plus, I should say. He might have been right at 15 before. So he's never gotten over that. This should be one of those games, right? He can get he can get 15 to 20. Gus can get another 15. Run the ball. It's going to be cold as hell. So run the ball, right? Um, now, as far as this Ravens defense versus Falcons offense, the Falcons started Desmond Ritter um, after they best Marcus, Marcus Mariota for the season, okay? And Desmond Ritter versus the Saints, 13 for 26, 97 yards, zero touchdowns, um, zero interceptions obviously a 50% completion percentage, okay? Now, this isn't so much about whether or not Desmond Ritter is good or bad. I don't really care about that because he's a rookie. This is the point. This is going to be his second career game on the road in Baltimore versus one of the best defenses in the NFL, okay? On an offense that cannot throw the ball, right? That's been the case all year. I drafted Kyle Pitts in fantasy, so I definitely know they had struggled throwing football, okay? <laughs> all right? But anyway, seriously, the Ravens must take advantage of playing against a rookie quarterback, all right? The Falcons are going to try to run the ball a lot. I already said it. Third in attempts in the NFL when it comes to running the ball, okay? 
So the Ravens have to do everything possible to get the Falcons in third and long situations, okay? This is a rookie quarterback. Throw some stuff at him that he hasn't seen before. Throw some exotic looks at him. Blitz him from a couple different angles. And it should be a good, good game for this Ravens defense. That's what I'm looking out for, okay? Now, as far as um, guys I'm looking for, out for players and things like that, to me, this is this is a linebacker game, right? Because Calais Campbell is going to be missing in the middle in the middle of the park. That's a big thing. I think Broderick Washington can do good enough to cover up some of that. Going to need Matt Abike to step it up as well. But I'm looking for Roquan Smith, right? First time Pro Bowler, which is crazy because he's a two time All Pro, but first time Pro Bowler. But anyway, I'm looking for Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen, right? This is going to be your game. Cordero Patterson, the guy uh, Tyler Algier, all of these guys are going to be coming right at you. All right. Uh, I don't think they're gonna do too many design runs with Desmond Ritter. How they were kind of doing some of the some stuff with uh, Marcus Mariota, but still that backfield. Um, Cordero Patterson, we know, is a good player. All right, Tyler Algier is, is all right. He's not bad. Okay, so the Ravens can't sleep on this rushing attack. That's what's gonna be a difference in this game. Can the Ravens stop the run and can they run on offense? All right, and that's what's that's what this game gonna come down come down to. It's cold. It's December. I think they say the temperature might be around four degrees tomorrow, or something like that, during the game. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be, well, as John Hall said, you know, December football is crazy, right? It's going to be that kind of football, okay? Uh, now, as far as that's the game preview. Now, let, let's let's get into expectations, okay? The Falcons are five and nine. The Falcons still have something to play for. The, the, the NFC South is not very good. I believe every team in that division has a losing record. I believe I, I could go look it up, but I believe they all have losing records. Um, so they're still technically fighting for a playoff spot, right? Um, to me, that doesn't matter. The Ravens, you are simply a better team than the Atlanta Falcons. Go out there and search your dominance and win this game, all right? I know the offense has been struggling in the past uh, couple weeks. I get all of that. Listen, this is not one of those games. I don't care how much the Ravens are struggling. A team like Atlanta should not come into Baltimore and leave with a victory. It just should not happen. So now that's up to John Harbaugh to get his team prepared, right? That's up to Greg Roman to actually, if the run game is working, stick with it. If you have some success throwing the football, try it out a little bit, right? Don't go crazy with it, but try it out a little bit. That's the biggest thing. Can Greg Roman call a game plan and effectively stick with what's working and not deviate from it, okay? On defense, Mike McDonald calls a pretty, pretty solid game. Uh, honestly, he does, you know, since his early season mishaps, he's been pretty good throughout, right? Now, I will say this. The Falcons receivers, I would love to see the Ravens challenge these receivers, right? Now, Drake London is a big body guy, um, but I, I, since Marcus Peters is out, I would expect to see a lot more Brandon Stevens. Um, and even Marlon Humphrey is a, is a physical corner. So I believe they have the physicality to match up with a guy like Drake London. But I'm also saying press these guys because they aren't, they don't really have any burners guys that's going to get over top. Now, they do have Demir Bird. I don't know how much he's playing for them at the moment, but um, I don't expect too much from this passing off. Like I said, Desmond Ritter had 97 yards in his first career start. So I don't expect him to go from 97 yards to 250 yards plus versus the Ravens. I, sh I don't expect that. It shouldn't happen. All right? At the end of the day, you're a better football team, right? You're fighting for the playoffs. Hell, you're fighting for the division. The division ain't gone. The, the, the Bengals still have to play tough opponents. I believe they still got the Bills on their schedule. So they still have to play tough opponents. So the division is not gone. And obviously, the, the Bengals still have to play the Ravens. So no matter how you slice it, you cannot afford to lose this game to the Atlanta Falcons. You can't do it. Show up, show out, get on with a W, have a Merry Christmas. That's the goal for the Ravens, honestly. Um, now, will it be that simple? <laughs> will it be that simple? Excuse me. Probably not. Right, the Ravens have never ever made it that simple. So, do I do I hope for that? Yes. Do I expect it? Not really. All right. Now, um, I gave my uh, sorry, who I'm looking out for on offense, J.K. Dobbins. This offensive line is going to be playing. It's been playing great. Ronnie Stanley's in the mix, so they should be able to run the ball. So I'm looking for J.K. Dobbins to continue, continue that, and maybe he breaks a long one. Right. So he's been talking about doing it. Hopefully, he can get that done. Okay. Uh, on defense, I said the linebackers, right? Roquan, Patrick Queen, because this is going to be a physical run game, right? This is going to be a real cold weather football game. If you like old school football, this is going to be for you. This is going to be the kind of game for you, right? We're running the ball. It's going to be tough. It's going to be physical. It's going to be nasty out there. 
All right. So that's what I'm looking for. Those those are the stand up performers that guys that I want to see be stand up performers, right? That's what I'm looking for, right? When when I when I give my recap of the game, I want to name those guys. All right. Now, lastly, let's get into the game prediction. I am predicting the Ravens win. All right. I can say how I feel about the Ravens and not changing and being disappointed and things like that. And all that is still true. I still expect them to beat the Atlanta Falcons. Right? Now, the score, that's the tough part. <laughs> that's the tough part. Because I want to say something like 27, but I can't I can't trust Tyler Henley's office to get up to that high. Right? So I'm thinking I'm gonna be conservative. I'm gonna be around the same number I've been, which is somewhere between 17 and 20. So uh, this week I'm gonna say 20. I'm gonna say it's 20 to 7, Baltimore. All right. Falcons get one touchdown. Um, you know, and that's and that's it. 20 to 7 Ravens. Uh it's not the most dominating game on offense, but it's one of those games where it doesn't ever really feel close. That's what it should be out there. Now we'll see what happens come Sunday, all right? I mean come Saturday, excuse me. Now, um, so you guys give me your um Give me you guys who you're looking out for in this game. Uh, and give me your score prediction as well, all right, man? So I'm going to get out of here, man. Y'all have a very, very happy holidays. I'll still be, you know, recording some videos over this uh, Christmas and New Year's, stuff like that. But y'all have a beautiful day, man. It's your boy Gabriel. This is on the Fan TV. I'm out.